acknowledge you know the, um, God's presence in our midst. He has said that where two or more are gathered together, He's there with us, and whatsoever we pray or ask, you know, He will answer. First of all, we want to think about from the beginning of the year how God has been good to you. January, February, Hallelujah. March. We want to rise so we can begin to individually and collectively give Him praise and thanks for all that yes, He has done for yes, us. Yes, you know, yes, for yes, the many yes. mercies. You know, it's Thank not by our mind or our power that we are alive today, you know, it's by His grace. So we're thankful for that. You know, many people have passed away, you know, through the years. We're just grateful. So if you want to start giving God thanks, you know, reminisce on, you know, all the things that He's done. You know, even the things that we have not even seen that He has done for us, the many testimonies that we have. We are grateful. We just want to give God all the praise. We want to give him our Lord, gratitude yes, tonight. Yes, We're thankful. Yes, you know, Father God, we give you all the glory. We exalt your holy name. There is no one Lord, like you. I come that I am. We appreciate you, Lord Almighty God, for who you are. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood that we were able to call and always able to call on, Lord God Almighty, to save us. Lord, we are grateful for all that you have done for us, Lord. For the 12 months of 2023, we are here standing to be able to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. How you have protected us, Lord Almighty, for the things that we have seen and wants that we have not seen. Thank you, God, for how you have provided for us. Lord God Almighty, you are our son. Our jobs are not our sons, our weakness are not our sons. But Lord God Almighty, you have been our son. You have sustained us. You have paid our bills. We are standing today. You have given us a good life throughout the year. Lord Almighty, we are grateful. Lord, we are thankful. We are thankful, Lord God Almighty. We are grateful. We praise you. We exalt your name. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge you as the
tonight, I believe you know this song. If you can hear it, you probably can't. Uh, so we're just gonna, uh, we can't really hear what it is today. You know what, let's just turn this off. And we're just gonna do our own thing tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. The song just says, I'm gonna dance and praise. And it's not like this. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The great one lives inside of me. What's his name? His name is Jesus.
that carries the power of God. Amen. And we are here tonight for such. Amen? Amen. Because we didn't come from Savannah to come and look at our planet. Amen. We came here for the manifestation of God. Amen. You understand the good image to that? We came here for what? The manifestation. Amen. The power of God. Amen. When we are coming, I told my wife, let's take a movie. Praise God. Amen. They may not have a movie with them. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we came with one. And this morning, we are praying around 4 a.m. Yeah, my wife this morning. And lost, my wife saw something online that there's another pulpit for the church. This is going to be for our traveling pulpit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when the church starts in Atlanta, yeah. we're going to be using this one until we get a bigger one. Yeah. Because I was just telling my wife, and I'm saying it loud and clear for the world to hear. Yeah. We're going to be, as the church starts, I will be coming to Sundays, you'll be coming to Sunday. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. You are going to shout a bigger amen today. Amen. You may see the beginning. The beginning is awesome. Amen. Jesus was born in a manger, yeah. but he became a mother. Yeah. The, place, the place he was born was smelly, it was not good. But at the end of the day, the three wise men came to worship him there. Amen. They did not mind the smelly place where rams, where goats, all manner of pets were there, but they still came. They saw the star in the east and they came to worship him. Yes. Very soon in the name of Jesus. Those who have despised you will come and worship you. Yes. People that have despised you look down on you. Yes. Because the, the wise men could not stop going after Jesus. They saw him and the Bible said they worship him. Yes. And they opened their treasure. Listen to me. People that matters in life will open their treasures to you. Are you saying the to them? People that matters in life. It's all about your age. It's about what God alone can do. Praise God. Amen. So I want to open the floor for those that have testimony. I believe God has done. I have. Praise God. My wife has. For what God has done for us from January, we are in December, and the year is coming to an end. You want to say, this is what the Lord has done. I know one person will not come out. Lisa will not come out, I know that. <laughs> but, amen. She, but Toya will talk about what God has done for the family. I know, pray, she's the spokesman of the family. Amen. Am I speaking right now? Amen. I'm not embarrassed here. I know you. Man. You already told me that, Pastor, I will not come out. <laughs> Praise God. So we we'll give God the glory. Hallelujah. Now, the floor is open. You have a testimony to what God has done in the past year. I mean, in the past month, from January to this time. You know, by this time last year, many of us have prayed, Lord, if only I can see 2023. Amen. Am I saying Amen. something? Amen. If only you can allow me. Yes. Give me another chance yes. to see the year. 20, now the year is coming to an end. What's going to be your prayer point again? Lord, give me another chance yes. to see 2024. Yes. And you're going to see it. Amen. You will taste it, you will see it, Amen. you will enjoy it. Oh my God, you'll be celebrated in 2024. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So anyone that last testimony here this evening, you have a testimony. Amen. Anyone Amen. that has a testimony, come on now. Come on. Amen. 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 The last time we were together, when we were in Savannah, I talked about how the Lord um, took me changed my multivitamin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and that was the blessing. Oh my goodness. And I was just so thankful. But since then, my refrigerator started messing with the ice maker and my refrigerator was acting up. And Believe it or not, that ice maker was, it's been adding up ever since I bought it four years ago. Every so often, let's say maybe every six, seven, eight months or whatever, it will stop making ice. So then I would call the, the main, it's a Samsung, I would call the manufacturer. They would send a, per, a repair person to fix the ice maker. It would start back working, but then after six, seven, eight months, it would stop working again. So for four years, I've been calling them every time. And they would send somebody, they would fix it. Right, <laughs> and they will leave, and then after, after some time, it will start working again. Mm -hmm. And so this last time, um, back in November, I called them. I said, "It's broke again. <laughs> it's broke again, right?" And so this time, I said, "I told them. I said, you know what? I said I shouldn't have to deal with this. Like you guys keep sending somebody to fix it, but it doesn't really fix." Right. And so I said, can you just give me another refrigerator? And they was like, no, you're out of warranty. And I was like, well, but this has been happening since it was brand new. But even though it's been four years, and they was like, we can fix your ice maker, but we're not giving you another refrigerator. So then the, then the person was like, and she, she was like, we can give you another refrigerator, or we can um, give you like a, she called it a, um, like a, a rebate okay. or something like we can give you some money for what they say the refrigerator is worth mm -hmm. and um so she was like we'll give you it was like almost 
1700 She was like, well, he almost said, I said, but I paid three thousand dollars for it, right? And so I said, so that, I said that's like a half of a refrigerator, and I was like, I don't want to spend fifteen hundred dollars to put with it to get another refrigerator. Right. So I was like, oh, just send somebody to fix it, right? So they was like, okay, but then it was like it was going to take them for a week or so for them to come. So then I was talking to Lisa, and Lisa was like, well, Tanya, if they give you the the, the seventeen hundred dollars, are they going to take the refrigerator? I said, I don't know. I said, I didn't even get that far. And so she was like, well, at least call back and find out. So I called back. And they was like, no, you can keep your free right now. And they was like, I said, well, so then, so Lisa was like, well, you can probably find somebody who can truly yeah. fix it, right, for less than the $1,700. And then you'll be all right. I said, okay. So then I called. I said, well, change it. Don't send nobody to fix it. Just give me the $1,700. They were like, okay, we'll start the process. <laughs> so they start the process. And so I go, I said, well, I said, well, it has been four years. So I go on Google and I said, Samsung refrigerator, ice maker don't work. <laughs> Boom, right? Oh. A video, a YouTube video popped up <laughs> and it was like two minutes. And this man, he was like, um, y'all ice maker ain't working? He was like, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. He was like, all you need is this. And he pulled out a blow dryer, a hair dryer, like a hair dryer. He was like, Go into, he said, pull the tray out. He said, if you're going to see a big block of ice all the way in the back, he oh, said, turn that hair dryer on and melt that block of ice. And he said, and then dry it up, dry up all the water. He said, put it back. And he said, your ice maker will start working. And I said, okay, so I went in there and I did exactly what he said to me. I did that. So I went on and I started cleaning up. I was washing dishes up. And it had been about an hour and a half. And I was in the kitchen. I was washing dishes. And all of a sudden, I heard, boom, boom, I said, woo! I do call it God tonight. 
I give God everybody that's in the building tonight. Yeah. Everybody that's pressed their way, praise God. Because I realize it's some pressure to do anything there. Yeah. Praise God, you know. And, uh, you know, and God is, God is doing things. Yeah. Can't go through everything, but God is doing things. Yeah. And I see yeah. God's hands. Yeah. And I give him praise for it. Amen. And I'll forever magnify his name. Amen. been so good to me, still good to me, um, throughout the entirety of 2023, I'm still here. Amen. And not that I'm just still here, I thank God that I'm still safe. Yeah. I talked to so many people who have fallen away from the faith. They have, they've gotten caught up in their success, their money, and they've forgotten about God. But I thank God that I still have the fire. Somebody shout fire. Fire. <laughs> yeah. I thank God that the anointing is there. You know, a lot of people can come up and perform. Yeah. See, we're in a setting where there's no mic, there's yeah. no music. Yeah. Now the anointing must show forth itself. Yeah. And that's that's priceless. Yeah. And I'm going to thank God for all of you over the years for connecting with us. Yeah. I mean, you are a loyal people. Yeah. Thank you. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care towards us. Thank you all for coming out. And I thank you guys for believing in my husband, Pastor David. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Because... If this man can carry some great, I want to marry him. Yeah. <laughs> but because I saw something yeah. different on him, yeah. amen, that's why we're here. And I know that we're certainly on a ministry kingdom assignment, yeah. and we fulfill that assignment in Jesus' name. Yeah. So God bless you. We thank God because 2024 yeah. shall be great. Yeah. The Bible said, amen, a lot of shall be greater. Yeah. So we're in the latter part, so it shall be greatest words in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And 2024, somebody declare, I'm going higher. Oh, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Are you to kill you? Yes, I'll come and kill you. Thank you. <laughs> come on, let's give you a praise. Hallelujah. I don't know how to I am blessed tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, my testimony is that uh, none of us is late. Amen. All of us are sound. Yes. What they think about you didn't come to pass. Amen. You didn't hear the word. The enemy thought of you didn't yes. come to pass. Amen. They thought everything would have been scattered about your life. Mm -hmm. They thought you would have gone six feet below the ground. But here you are, praise God. Hallelujah. You are still kicking. Oh my, I wish you would have gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still kicking. You are still testifying. You are still glorifying God for all the things He has done. Yes. The enemy thought I would not be able to see anymore, but look at mine today. Hallelujah. I can see everybody. Yes. Yes. There was a time I could not see. There was a time when I can see. Yes. Oh, yes. Rabbi Hashem. Yes. Yes. Let me just give him praise. I want to ask my friends, only one and daddy can sit down. Let's ask my feet and give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Come on, come on, give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. As your heart, somebody say, My heart. My heart. The moment your heart is receptive to the word, 
there will be an encounter. Yes, Are you listening to me? Yes. The moment, somebody say the moment. the moment. Now Jesus started with the twelve. And with the twelve, he changed the entire world. Yes. With the twelve. Yes. With the twelve. He didn't start with multitude. He didn't start with the crowd. But he started with people like us. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. And he began to pump the world. Somebody say pumping the world. Pumping and he began to pump the world into your heart. And as they continue to receive the word, there was a change of story. Yeah. Listen to me. By this time, 2024, Hallelujah. your story will have changed 100%. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. By this, somebody say by this time. By this time. You know, there's power in the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you confess, that is what you're going to possess. Yeah. There is power in the spoken word. Yeah. Yeah. By this time, 2024, yeah. one thing I know. That I'm still going to see daddy by this time. Amen. I'm still going to see my mama by 2024. Amen. By this time, 2024, Amen. God will have catapulted your story, Amen. your destiny, Amen. beyond this level. Amen. Somebody say, beyond this level. Amen. My story will have changed. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. In the book of John, chapter 7, I want us to go there together. Maybe you're going to read for me. Praise God. John chapter 7 from verse 36 or from verse 37. The Bible said in the last day, somebody said the last day. John 7 from verse 37. We're looking at the oil of joy. Praise God. The oil. Somebody said the oil. The oil of joy. The oil has a capital price on it. The oil is an instrument of authority. I'm not talking about the oil you bought in the store that you brought here because after it has been prayed for by a prophet, it becomes another thing. It becomes power. Amen. It's no more a liquid uh, something you bought in the store. It becomes power. Somebody say power. 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 Glory be to God. For Jesus said in John chapter 7 from verse 37, the Bible said in the last day, Thank God we're in the last days of this year. Amen. He said in the, somebody said the last day. The last day. He said in the last day, that great day of the feast, mm -hmm. Jesus lifted up his voice. He was passionate. He has compassion for the people. They have had the food, the physical food, but they need to hear the, they need to eat the food of the food, the food of the spirit. And he said, he cried with a loud voice. He said, anyone that is thirsty. Am I right? Yes. Go ahead. Read for me. Anyone thirst, let him come. Anyone. Somebody say anyone. Anyone. Now, because you came tonight because you are thirsty, you will have stayed in your home and enjoy yourself. Amen. Stay on your bed, watch Netflix, watch common of things, eat some chicken. I know Toya cooked this afternoon, you know, some soup. You will have relaxed at home and enjoy yourself. <laughs> but you came. Amen. I said you came. Praise Amen. God. He said in the last day, that great day of the feast. So, we are here for a feast day. Amen. It's a great day of the feast. Amen. We are here to feast. Amen. Somebody say, I'm here to feast. I'm here to feast. You know, when you come to a place of feasting, it's not an ordinary place. Mm -hmm. Like a cocktail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we are here to feast in the world. Yeah. We are here to feast the world. Yeah. And as we are feasting in the world, there will be all manners of food that you're going to be eating. Yeah. It's not one kind of food, not collard grain, not uh, whatever. All manners. Somebody say, all manners. Oh, because as you are going back home tonight, it's not the same you that came that will go back. Amen. You didn't hear me tonight. Amen. It's not. I didn't come from Savannah to come and look at your face. Amen. I came here so that our story all together can change. Amen. From glory to glory. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. From glory to glory. Amen. Because in 2024, we are going high. Amen. I said we are going high. Amen. We're not going to remain where we are. Yesterday or an hour ago, no, our destiny will not become a destitute. We are moving higher. We are going higher. Nothing is stopping us. Nothing is going to hinder you anymore. Why? Because listen to me. We have a thirst for God. We are hungry for a change of story. Are you hungry for a change of story? I am hungry for a change of story. I don't want to remain where I was yesterday. Oh my God, I want my story to change. Yeah. And I'm serving a God that can only change the story of a man. He yeah. does it for Jabez, he can do it for you. He yeah. did it for David, he can do it for you. He yeah. did it for Esther, he can do it for you. Yeah. What he said to one, he said to all. Yeah. Glory be to God in heaven. Yeah. Go ahead, mama. He that believeth on me. He that believeth on me. Yeah. 
as the scripture has said, out of, the scripture, out of his belly, out of his belly, shall flow. Somebody say flow. flow. There will be a flow. There will, there will not be entrance. Amen. There will be a flow out of him, Amen. not out of them. Amen. You got to personalize the word. Yes. Out of him, because out of you shall begin to flow. Listen to me. Favor. Amen. Promotion. Amen. Divine connection. Amen. You're going to be going higher. Amen. Those that plan to stop you, they will be stopped. Amen. Those that plan to enter you, will be entered. Because the word of God said, out of me yeah. shall begin to flow My God. the rivers, yeah. not the water, not the well, yeah. the rivers yeah. of living. Somebody said living. Yeah. Mama, not the dead sea, yeah. but the living water. Yeah. Oh my goodness, are you listening to me? When you go to the dead sea, nothing is moving. But when you, when you carry the living one inside of you, the Yeshua Amasia, the one that saved, it will begin to move you 360 degrees, turn around. Somebody, can you hear me? He said, out of being sharp. When you flow, nothing can hinder you. Out of being sharp. I see the young people that are here. I see people sitting beyond this hall. You didn't hear me tonight. I see people sitting on the gallery. I see people, oh my God, they'll be struggling to come and have a seat. The time is coming to end. There are people say, come reserve a seat for me. Oh, make sure my seat is there. Put my name there. That is what God is able to do. Because out of us shall flow the rivers, not the well. The river, you see, can you hear me? Out of it shall flow the rivers of living, not dead waters. Living thing, living yeah. organism, living breakthrough, Amen. living through success. Out of it shall flow. Amen. And it shall flow in you. Amen. I said, it will flow in you. Amen. Somebody say, flowing through me. Flowing through me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Jesus. That was the other Let's start Read the water. I close my Bible. Okay. He said, anyone that believes in me, Amen. out of him shall flow. Of living words. And listen to me. For us to prosper, for us to become great, for the oil not to dry, you must have the secret of the word of God. Amen. I don't want us to be among the people that will tell you that, you know, I see something about you, I prophesy, mm. use some money to touch the oil, to go and buy the anointing. The anointing is coming up, bring hundred dollar come and line up here. It doesn't work that way. Amen. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. If I be doing that before, it doesn't work that way. Amen. Everything about your breakthrough is in the word of God. Amen. Because the Bible is the map of heaven. Amen. It's the manual. Listen to me. You know, when you buy like what you talking about, a generator, in a generator you have, you have there's a manual. I mean, for the machine you bought or for the car you just there's a manual that will show you where to press. There are some things you saw in your car. You don't know what is going on there until you look at the manual. So the word of God, the Bible is the manual of life. Somebody say manual of life. Amen. It's the manual of life that you use to navigate where your destiny is going. Amen. And we are here tonight to search some of it, not everything. Hallelujah. Amen. To see where our life is going to be aligned to and in position Amen. for 2024. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29, the secret things. Now, the secret things is not for everybody. Yeah. It's for certain people. Somebody says certain people. Certain people. Group of people. Group of people. Those in the court. What did I call it? Court. Yeah. Don't be silent. Yeah. Court. Meaning that they are not, they are, they are separated people. Yeah. They are called aside people. Yeah. They are a group. I mean, hungry for something to happen. Yeah. They are the one that we have the secret. And when you have the secret, your destiny is going to be secure. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear me tonight. Amen. The secret thing, the Bible said, it, he said, the secret thing belongs to the Lord, and those things that are revealed, am I right? Yes. Belongs unto us. The secret thing belongs to God. They belong to God. And those things, somebody said those things. He said, those things which are revealed, Apocalypse, Revelation, those things which are revealed, they belong to us, you need revelation. When you have revelation, your destiny will never remain on the floor. Amen. In the year 2028, to succeed, to break forth, for your heart not to dry, Amen. you need the re so revelation. Revelation. Listen, as I'm talking right now, the angels are moving around. 
But they are fixing things in our life. Individually, praise the Lord. He said, this, the, the things which are revealed belongs to us and to our children. Not only to Toya, but to Ashley, to Asia. And then to all of our children that are not here. Because we are here representing somebody. Amen. They belong. Somebody said they belong to us. They belong to us. The secret thing is for the call aside people. People that have been called by God. People that have been selected. Somebody said I'm selected. That's what the Bible said in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Peter 2, verse 9. In case you don't know, he said you are a royal Christian. That you are not a slave. Don't think like a slave. Don't talk like a slave. Right. There was a time where I was born. She may know the place, but she may not in there. I was born in a place called Ajekule in Lagos, where you don't wear shoes. When you wear shoes there, it's like, ah, where did you get the shoe? So when God begins to bless me, I said, I'm going to put on the best shoes. Amen. You didn't clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm going to put on the Somebody say the best. The best. Amen. The best shoe. Yes. Because there was a time when I wear my shoes, there's hole under my shoes. Jesus. So when I'm going with my socks on it, I'm going to walk into some water. So when I'm walking out anywhere I stay or I start with wood, they're going to be hearing the smell coming out from my socks. Jesus. I say, Lord, what are you going to change my story? Yes. They said, God that changed my story. I'm a living evidence here with you. Your case may not be my case. But you want God to do something in your life. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that before the end, listen to me, before the end of 2024, we are here right now. Your story will change. I say your story will change. In the name of Jesus, the oil of joy will not dry in your life. It will go from glory to glory. Amen. It will go from power to power. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Revelation chapter 5. Listen to me. Everyone that wants to swear iron must be ready to open the book. Until the book is open, joy cannot come. Amen. Those who fail to open the book remain in weeping. They remain in sadness. In Revelation chapter 5 from verse number 4. You know, Apostle John, a man of God, entered into a trance in the island of Patmos. And God began to show him how people can be set free from the path of the enemy, from the slavery of the enemy, from the bondage of the enemy. Some may be watching online tonight. I come to declare to you, as you are hearing this word and you believe the word, there's freedom for you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Freedom for us. Somebody say freedom. Freedom. Yeah. freedom. In the name of Jesus. The woman said in verse number four. And I wept much. He said, I wept. Somebody said she wept. She wept. You will not weep. Amen. I said, you will not weep. Amen. She said, I wept much. Because no man was found worthy. He said, because there is no man. Listen to me. Your, your, your destiny is not tied in the hand of a man. Amen. No. He said, no man. That means that no man can solve your problem. Amen. God can use them as a channel. But when their time expires, they will leave you. That's true. People may come into your life. I'm not talking about marriage right now. I'm talking about somebody, God can position someone for a particular season in your life. Yeah. And you got to be quite aware of it spiritually to know that this person is designed to be in my life or on that job for a season. Because a time will come, you call them, they will not pick up their phone. A time will come, they don't want to talk to you. Because you know what? Their season has expired in your life. You got to know when the season of people expired in your life. Amen. You got to know because when you are running after them, they may embarrass you. But when you know somebody say, Well, I know. But I know. You got to know. Amen. So the Bible said in verse number four, read it one more time again. And I wept much. He said, I wept much. Because no man was found worthy. He said, No man. Somebody said, No man. No man. I said again, Your blessing is not in the hand of a man. But the Bible said in the book of Flow after just just what it ten twenty two, he said it is the blessing of God, not the blessing of man, Amen. that maketh rich yes, and addeth no sorrow. Amen. The blessings of man, mama, is limited, but the blessings of God are unlimited. Yes. Oh, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I prophesy one more time. You will not miss the blessings of God. Where the blessings of men end your life, that is where the blessing of God begins from. I prophesy. 
in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound and the reach of my voice, you will not miss the blessings of God. You will keep on enjoying those blessings from glory to glory, from status to status. Somebody say, I receive it. Glory be to God. Go ahead, brother. No man was found worthy to open uh -huh. and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Uh -huh. And one of the elders said, No unto man, me, is this a no man was worthy to open the book? No man can open your destiny if God does not give them the privilege to do so. Amen. Nobody can help you except God seal up their heart. Amen. People that will help you. People that will support you for you to go higher in 2024. May you not miss them again in Jesus' name. You will not miss them in the name of Jesus. Even in your home, you may be in the mall, you may be in your car, you may be whatever you find yourself. God will orchestrate their movements. They will locate you. Somebody said they will locate me. You didn't hear me, they will locate me. Can you imagine, Daddy? The woman called Ruth. She has married. Her husband was late. And she followed the woman called Naomi. Amen. I used Naomi as God. She kept on following God despite what has happened to her. The woman said, leave me. I don't have anything to offer you. They said, no, I will not leave you. Your God will be my God. Amen. The one that saved will be my Savior. Amen. And even the woman she was following kept on complaining. Amen. When she came back to her city, they call her Naomi. The one Naomi means pleasantness. He said, no, don't call me pleasantness. My two sons is dead. My husband is dead. Call me Mara. The one Mara means bitterness, means sadness. But that was the one who kept on following. Yeah. Wow. He said, I see something in you. Yeah. Listen to me. You might be complaining yesterday that it's God in you. Yeah. Oh, you may fail yesterday, there is success in you. Yeah. You may fall down today, there's lifting up in you. Yeah. Oh, you may be cast down some days ago. Oh, there's a turn around in your life. Yeah. Somebody said there's a turn around in my life. Can you guys say there's a turn around in my life? There's a turn around in my life. Glory be to God. I said, Glory be to God. And the Bible makes make us understand in that word where we are reading. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse number five. And one of the elders said unto me. One of the elders. This is not the man. One of the elders. It's one of the 24 elders. Somebody say glory be to God. Glory one be of God. the elders said to me. They will speak to you. Amen. In your days of sadness, which has gone. Amen. Listen to me. Amen. In the days that you need strength, you need ideas. Amen. In the days you need revelation Amen. for revolution. A word will come to you from his word, hallelujah, that will make it to bounce back. Somebody say, I'm bouncing back. Oh, you didn't hear me. I'm bouncing back. The year 2024, people that know me now, when they see me by this time next year, they'll be thinking, are you sure she's the one? Are you sure he's the one? Is it a light that we have seen or who is that person? They'll be looking, am, am I really sure? They will be pinching themselves. Are you sure? But when they hear your voice, they say, Oh, she's the one. Oh, he's the one. Somebody shout, Glory. Glory. He said, One of the elders said to me, What did he say? Weep not. From today, you will never weep again. I said, From today. One of the elders said to him, Weep not. Because the lion of the tribe of Judah has prepared in the midst of your traveling. There is one that is called Jesus has come to prevail in your traveling. Amen. When you travel, you cry. Amen. Do you know when you cry, you can't see what is going to happen? Amen. When you cry, you close your eye. Am I correct? Amen. But when you rejoice, your eyes are open. Yeah. Yeah. From today, I speak as I am commanded. Yeah. You will begin to rejoice. Amen. The oil of joy will not cease in your life. Amen. The oil of joy will not cease in your life. Amen. Somebody said the oil of joy will not cease in your life. The oil of, because the oil has the capacity. The oil of joy has the capacity to destroy every sadness and sorrow. Somebody said I receive the oil of joy. To terminate every sorrow in my life. To terminate every ugliness in my life. To terminate every fear in my life. To terminate every delay in my life. To terminate every crisis in my life. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
in the book of Jeremiah 15, 16, still talking about the word. The word of God is the womb that carries your joy. Amen. What did I say? The word is the womb that carries your joy. Remember Amen. how this one is going, something is happening to someone. Amen. You got to be taking notice of that something is happening to you. Yes. Greater things are happening to you. Amen. Jeremiah 15, 16, he said, Thy word was found. You got to find the word. You got to be responsible. Somebody say responsible. Because God is looking for those who are responsible. He said, Thy word was found. So that means that before you can encounter joy, you must take time. Somebody say, Take a time. Take a time. Hallelujah. You got to be serious about it. He said, Thy word was found. That means that I have, to, I must take the responsibility to look for the word concerning my situation. Because in every situation, there's a solution. Are you listening to me? In every, somebody said every situation, there's a solution for me. He said, thy word was found, and I began to eat the word. Meaning that I, be, I believe the word, no doubt in my heart. Thy word was found. When I found the word, mama, I began to eat the word. It was sweet in my mouth. The Bible said, and the word, look at the Bible, and the word became joy. Not sorrow. The word became joy. Somebody say it became joy. Became joy. From today, the word of God shall become joy to you. I said, from somebody say from today, the word of God shall become joy to you. He said it became joy and a rejoicing unto my soul. The word became joy. That means the word became flesh and dwell in my life. The word of God became flesh. And give me everything to enjoy, Amen. not to endure. Amen. In the year 2024, I will no more endure anything. Amen. I will begin to enjoy the Amen. blessing of the Lord. Somebody say the blessings of the Lord. He said that word was found. That means we can find the word. The word is not hidden somewhere. We gotta find somewhere. I'm gonna find the word. The word I need to become a first class student, I'm gonna look for it. The word I need to become the best of the best, I must look for it. The word of God that will renew my head like an eagle, I must look for it. The word of God that will make me joyful every day. Somebody say every day. Every day. I have it in me. Hallelujah. He said, because thy word was found. And it became a joy. Not sadness, not sorrow, not complaining. It became, somebody say it became. It became. From today, the word of God shall become joy to you. You didn't hear me. Amen. When people are sad around you, you shall be joyful. Amen. When everybody is complaining, you obtain joy and gladness. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the word was found. And it became joy unto me. And rejoicing to me. The word became. That was the most. There's a transformation. Oh, someone, are you listening to me? From sorrow to joy. Amen. The word removed every element, every symptom of sorrow in my life. And it revealed there was a deposit. Somebody say deposit. A deposit of joy that no devil can take from me. Amen. Because in your marriage, you will rejoice. Amen. You are not saying the Amen. In your family, you will rejoice. In your career, you will rejoice. Amen. Everyone fighting you, God will take them away. Amen. Everyone fighting your breakthrough, they will break down for Amen. you. Everyone that said you will not go high, they will go down for you. Amen. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every evil plot against you, God will pull them down. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Lamentation chapter 3, verse 37. Lamentation 3, 37. He said, who have said a word and they come to pass? When God has not commanded it. Every word that God has not said in your life and the enemy is you know, chanting those words against you. I come to declare to someone, it will never stand. I said, it will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said in Lamentation 3, 37, he said, who have said a word and it come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Every evil commandment against you, it ends up in confusion. 
every evil arrangement against you is hereby disorganized. I release the, the bold with prayer of heaven unto your territory of your enemy. Amen. Your Amen. enemy will not stand at the end of this year. Amen. Every enemy say, let's see how she will succeed. The devil is not, you are succeeding already. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. In Habakkuk chapter 3, where my son read, Habakkuk chapter 3, from verse 17, he said, although the fig tree might not blossom, meaning that things might not be the way you want it to be, yeah. but it's going to be so. Yeah. It's going to be so. Yeah. Somebody says it's already so. Yeah. 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 We speak in past tense. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. He said, although the fig tree might not blossom, listen, I didn't come to motivate you. I came to release spiritual word into your life. Amen. That will keep you standing. Amen. Oh my, that will keep you blossoming. Amen. That will make you to remain beautiful and handsome. Amen. That will make you, oh my God, to become a terror to your enemy. Amen. Are you listening to me right now? He said in Habakkuk 3, look at your Bible, verse 17. He said, although the fig tree, right? Mm -hmm. Although the fig tree shall not blossom. He said, the fig tree may not, there may not be anything in it. Neither shall fruit. Be in the there may not be fruit after you have labored. You look and see the fruit or the profit is not coming. You have dropped the proposals and they not call you. You go for the interview for new new status. They have not even call you. But the word of God said, go ahead. The labor of the olive you shall fail. You have labor there is not it's showing failure. It's showing failure. Those things that want to kill your oil of joy. Go ahead, man. And the fields shall yield no meat. The field means where you go for your job, your career, your business. It yielded nothing. But it said in verse 18. Yes. Yes. Somebody say yes. 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 It doesn't matter what I'm seeing right now. Jesus. It doesn't matter what they say to me. It doesn't matter what the economy is saying. I am not ruled by the economy of this world. Amen. I am ruled by the economy of heaven. Amen. Oh, sorry, I was in the beginning. Amen. 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 If our glory fig tree might not blossom, mm -hmm. there may not be fruit in the vine. He said in verse 18, he said, Yet I will rejoice. It doesn't matter what they say, that is not what God says about Amen. me. Oh my God. He said, yes. Somebody say yes one more time. Yes. 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 He said, yes. I, not them. I. I. Me, mama. Yes. Your son, me. I will rejoice over you. Amen. We sing it, daddy. Yes. We will rejoice. Yes. We will not mourn over you. Amen. He said, Amen. yes. That's why what they say, Cynthia. Yes. yes. I will rejoice. Yes. Uh, things yes. may be down today. Come on now. Yes. It's just for now. Yes. Because yes, let me see. I will rejoice. Yes. We will rejoice together. He yes. said, yes. 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 yes, I will rejoice. Yes. And I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yes. The word salvation there means Yehoshua. Yehoshua means the God that saved. I will rejoice in Yahushua. Somebody say Yahushua. In the God that saved. <laughs> Not in him that cannot save. Yeah. I will begin to rejoice. Yeah. I will begin to dance with my praise. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I will rejoice so that my enemy can regret. Yeah. It's time to rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. He said I will rejoice. Yeah. In the God. Yahushua. I will rejoice. In the God, somebody say the God. In the God of my salvation. In Yehoshua, the God that saved, Amen. the one that delivered. Amen. And when you begin to rejoice, the word of God said in Proverbs 17 22, He said, A merry heart doing good like medicine. So there's a, thera there's a therapeutic or therapeutic, whatever they can call it, in the world. There's a therapy. Somebody say terrible. Yeah. Yeah. In the word. A merry heart. Not a moody heart. Yeah. You didn't hear me. Yeah. Not a savvy look. Yeah. A merry heart. Somebody say merry heart. A merry heart doing good like medicine. 
but a broken spirit will come in. A merry heart. My son at the park there, Malachi, you know, when I go out to buy things, even I buy things online, I will think about him and say, if I'm buying shirt for myself, let me buy one for Malachi. You know why? He does things that pleases me. Amen. He supports me in the house of God. Amen. So I will think of him. How much more God thinking about you? Amen. You didn't hear. I'm just trying to make an example. How much more God is thinking about that you are seated in, the, in his presence, praise God, to hear from him, to hear his word that can change your life. Because I'm not here to praise myself. I'm here to talk about God. And I cannot support God. God is enough to support himself. I cannot help God. That's the wrong theology. Sometimes I'm here to help God. Nobody can help God. God is enough to help himself. I'm just here as a messenger, Amen. as a prophet of God, Amen. to let you know that your story has changed. Amen. I said, your story has changed. Amen. I said, my story has changed. Amen. You may not see the rain. You may not see the wind. You may not see the president. American presence is limited to what God can do. The mayor of Atlanta is limited to what God can do. The governor of Kent is limited to what God can do. But we are serving the unlimited God. The one that can shake the unshakable. The one that can turn this around. He said, a merry heart. So my heart will always be merry. That's why he said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. Let's go there together. He said, rejoice, I say unto you, rejoice. 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 The one you are taking out will sustain you to the end of the year. The end of 2024, it will sustain you. So he said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4, he said, rejoice. I say to you again, rejoice. That means as you continue to rejoice, it will boost your energy. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear me. Amen. It will boost your mental capacity. Amen. You begin to think right. Amen. Oh, but logically, you will think right. Amen. Spiritually, you will be on the balance side. Amen. Oh, are you listening to me right now? Amen. Because as you become joyful, because the only thing that really in heaven is joy. Amen. In the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 17. Romans 14, 17 said, He said, the kingdom of God is not a meat and drink. God's kingdom. Somebody say God's kingdom. I didn't hear you. God's kingdom. It's not a meat and drink. Hallelujah. It's not a meat and drink, but it's a righteousness. Am I correct? It's in joy. Somebody say joy. In the Holy Ghost. It's a righteousness. So you need the, the fundamental requirements of righteousness to experience joy without numbers. To experience joy without limit. When you have the righteousness of God in you, it moves you to a new dimensional level. Oh my God, somebody didn't hear me. Because the kingdom of God is not in partying. It's not by partying. It's not by, you know, I'm, I think, you know what, Pastor David, you know why? I'm only going to be happy when I'm with this set of people. When I go out with them on to you know to some countries or to go on a ship something, we just go, let me go and hang out with them. So like you know, I'm just sad. They will make you more sad. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. But there's something. I'm not trying to be too spiritual. But one thing I know: the word of God is taking soul from one dimension to another dimension. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say it's taking me higher. He's taking me higher in the name of Jesus Christ. The word, somebody said the word. He's taking, he's changing my destiny from level to level in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what we're going to experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Now look at what the word of God said. Again, for us to see in the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse number 10. The word of God said, He said, and the ransom of the Lord. We were praying this morning around five, I am a wife, and we read the scripture. And I began to tell my wife, there are some means those who have been held in captive. Their joy has been held. The enemy has yanked their joy, yeah. yanked their prosperity, yeah. yanked their peace. He said, But the ransom of the Lord shall return back to Zion. Am I correct? Yeah. They will return. Someone is hearing me. Everything the enemy has taken from you. Yeah. Are you listening to me now? God is returning them back to you. Amen. 
He said, for the ransom of the Lord shall return back to Zion. The Bible said, what did he say? They will, they will come with a new song. They will obtain joy. Everlasting joy shall be in their head. He said, joy. They will what? Joy they will obtain joy and sorrow, and sorrow and, sh and sigh shall flee away. Yes, they will right. obtain joy, Daddy and Mommy. Amen. Some of us were just pretending we are not contending with joy. We just pretend to be happy when we are not happy. Amen. Remember, happiness is not in the Word of God, it's joy that is in the Word of God. Amen. Are you listening to me right now? We are just there, but we are not yet gotten the joy. But from that, receive the joy. Yes. I say, receive that joy. Receive that joy. Yes. Listen to me. I hear a word in my spirit. God is about to surround you with a kind of people that will make you joyful all the days of your life. You didn't hear me now? Maybe you have given up. That I'm, I'm just ready for anything. The last time I should tell you, you are not meant for anything. You are not meant for the alternative. You are meant for the ultimate. Amen. I say you are designed for the ultimate. Amen. Somebody says I'm designed for the ultimate. The ultimate. What about I'm designed, I'm designed for the ultimate? What about I'm, I'm designed for the ultimate? I will not settle for less. Settle for less. Loud and bigger, I will not settle for less. Settle for less. Because you know what he said? He said they will obtain joy and gladness. They will obtain it, they will not explain it. Mm. <laughs> are you listening to me? Your days of explaining things are over. Your days of obtaining joy is now. Are you listening to me right now? Your days of obtaining, explaining things, you know, if somebody's there, like the man by the pool of Bethesda, Jesus asked him a question in John chapter 5. What do you want? He said, you know, Jesus, you know, uh, for 38 years I've been here. Uh, you know, nobody's there. He said, no, 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 I'm asking you. What do you want? Many a time they come with the challenges from the passing to Korea. We forgot to give the right response when they ask us questions. Because of the oh my God, because of the suffering, many people have passed through when they ask that question. They say, Oh, what do you want? They say, You mean what I want? Uh, you know, I want this, so I will have gone to Macy's to buy the clothes. But you know, I just have to go to uh, what do they call that place? Salvation Army to go and buy those clothes. Oh, I got the post from there, very nice. But I, that is not what they're asking you. What do you want? The enemy have changed our language many a times. But there's a recovery tonight. Amen. I said there's a recovery tonight. Amen. Somebody said there's a recovery for me. Recovery for me. He said they will obtain joy and gladness. Amen. They will obtain joy and gladness. Amen. And when they obtain it, no devil can take it from them. Amen. In John 15, verse 11, look at what Jesus said. In John 15, 11, the Messiah himself said this word to us. Because nobody will take your joy from you again. Amen. You didn't hear me right now. Amen. Nobody. Nobody. Amen. Nobody. Amen. They are too small to take it from you. Amen. What God has given to you, no devil can take it from you. Amen. Read it for me, baby. What did he say? These things have I spoken unto you. He said, These things. Somebody said, These things. Amen. So there's a particular thing that you need to have. Amen. He said, These things have I spoken unto you. Go ahead. That my joy. That my joy. Somebody say, It's joy. Joy. He said, not your own joy. You don't have any joy. It's the one he gave to you. He said, that my joy is not joy. He transferred it to you. My God. Oh my goodness. Somebody said, glory to that. He said, great all the time again. Please. These things have I spoken unto you. He said, these things have I spoken. There's a particular thing. There's a specific thing you have been yearning for. Desiring in your life. Receive joy to help them in Jesus' name. Amen. That my joy mm -hmm. might remain in you. That my own joy, not as the world giveth, my own joy. Oh my God, the everlasting joy, the enduring joy, Malachi, might remain. Somebody say, remain in me. As you have said it, it will remain in you. Amen. That it might remain in you. Go ahead. And that your joy might be full. Now listen, the joy will remain, Amen. and it will be full. Amen. It's not going to be half full. It's going to be full. Somebody say, "My joy is full." My joy is full. Say with confidence, "My joy is full." My joy is full. My joy is full. My joy is full. My joy is not half full. My joy is full. 
My joy is not half. My joy is full. Because what you say is what you encounter. My joy, I will not think of how Asia is going to survive when she's in college. I will not think how Ashley is going to be when she's in. No, because I know. I'm not thinking about them. Because they have their life to live. You have your life to live. Amen. Your joy and their joy shall be full. Amen. You better know sometimes you will not be with mama. She's going to be on her own. You're going to be on your own. And your joy will be full. Amen. Your joy will be full. Amen. Everybody's joy is going to be full. Amen. 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 You're not saying it's time is coming. Yes. My son, Elijah is going to be in college. He will be alone. Amen. His joy will be full. Amen. Your joy will be full. Amen. You will be settled in your home. Amen. Everybody will be keep on enjoying. Yes. Because of the joy. Amen. He said, the joy that no man take it away from you. Yes. You didn't hear me that? The joy. Amen. I hear the one in my mind. Someone is about to be scammed. You will not be scammed. Amen. You will not be scammed. The Lord will expose them to you. Amen. Maybe you are watching the light or you are here. I hear the word of my spirit. Amen. You will not be scammed. Amen. Amen. You will not be scammed. In the name of Jesus. You will not be scammed. Amen. Because the joy of the Lord is moving around us here. Amen. It will expose the enemy to Amen. you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. He said that your joy will remain and your joy will be full. Yes. Your joy will be full. When that joy comes, it turns your ugliness to beauty. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 61, verse number 2, look at what he said. 2 to 3. Hallelujah. He said, To appoint unto them that mourn. Am I correct? Verse 2. Yes. Go ahead. To proclaim the acceptable year of the so Lord. To proclaim. Proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord. The year 2024 is the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. For your divine acceleration. Amen. For your divine uplifting. Amen. Go ahead, man. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord uh -huh. and the day of vengeance of our God, uh -huh. to comfort all that mourn. To comfort. To appoint unto them that uh -huh. mourn in Zion. Now listen. To comfort them. Wherever you need comfort, listen to me. Hear God and hear me. I'm speaking this word to you. This one I waiting. These are the words I waited upon the Lord for to come and declare to you. Wherever your destiny has been discomforted, receive the comfort of the Lord. Amen. You're receiving it. He now said in verse 3, to appoint unto them. So there's going, be, there's going to be an appointment of joy for every one of us. Amen. To appoint unto them the more. So there are people that mourn. There are some places you are mourning. Just some people came here before they came. Oh, no, Pastor, how did you know? Well, Maybe they are watching a lie, you know, let me just go and just look good. But you know, Father, you know, I'm passing through those things you have said in your secret place that nobody heard you. God will give you a public testimony. Amen. I said he will give you a public testimony. Amen. He said to appoint unto them that mourn. Go ahead. To give them beauty for ashes. To give them. So God is a giver. Amen. What did I say? He's a woman. He's a giver. To give unto them beauty, to change their personality, to change, oh my God, their personality, to change how they look, to change their status, to change their home, Amen. to change their relationship, Amen. to change their career, Amen. to give unto them. Don't stay you are saying, Pastor, you know, I feel like you have another thing. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, I feel you know, maybe you know, I just want to change this car, receive a new transportation in Jesus' name. Pastor, I, you know, I, I just want this thing to happen. Receive what you said in your heart. Yeah, receive, receive a new bill, a, a new bill of health in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. Amen. He said to our point of the morning now, there will be beautiful for ashes. Go ahead. The oil of joy for morning. Now listen, the oil. That's what we are going. The oil of joy for money. When the oil comes upon you, <laughs> your days of mourning shall become a brand new day of joy. Amen. Amen. When the oil comes, he said the oil of joy for money. Go ahead. And the spirit. 
And the garment of praise. The garment of praise. But the spirit of heaviness. So when the oil of joy comes, yeah. you begin to praise God with nobody telling you to amen, do so. Amen. You begin to thank Him more than a hundred times in a day. Amen. You begin to praise the Father just thank you. God, you are faithful. There was someone who said, Father, God is just good to me. You just begin to burst into the atmosphere of joy. Amen. And the heaviness shall be rolling away from out of your life. Someone is telling before the ending of March, you will enter into your season of everlasting joy. Amen. Everything that you can see, they are static, they are not moving. The oil of joy will lubricate your life. Amen. And things shall be going to move beyond your pleasure. In, in the mighty name of Jesus. The, the oil, somebody said the oil of joy. We change you from one level to another. Amen. From one glory to another. Amen. He said the oil of joy for the spirit of mourning. Wherever you have been mourning, wherever you have been sad yes. from today, everything that makes you to regret. Everything that makes you to live in the place of mourning, bitterness, yes. sadness, they are here by the way, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. You are entering your higher place. Amen. You are walking into your higher place. Somebody says, I'm entering my higher place. My higher place. my higher place of joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. How can I receive the oil of joy? How can it be permanent in my life? He said in the book of Psalm 45, verse number 7. He said, Thou lovest Psalm 45, verse 7. If I like to get there. Psalm 45, verse 7. He said, Thou lovest righteousness. Yes. So righteousness is the bedrock of our joy. Um, Thou lovest. Somebody say, I love righteousness. I love righteousness. For you to swim in the river of joy, <laughs> you must love. Amen. Righteousness of that question. Amen. Thou lovest righteousness. And hated wickedness. Mm -hmm. Don't hate on people. Don't try to revenge on people. God said, I will vindicate you. I will fight for you. And you will hold your peace. Amen. You can't you can't be anointed and remain struggling in life. Amen. You cannot be anointed and fight your battle by yourself. No. The oil is a capital insurance that you need that will ensure your destiny against every oppression of the devil. Amen. Amen. What did I call the oil? Is the capital insurance that you need. That no insurance company on the head can give to you. The oil. Where you have the oil, you walk like a king. Amen. You talk like a priest. Amen. You walk like a king. Amen. And you begin to talk like a priest. You don't talk as a slave. You talk as the owner of the slave. Amen. Because Satan has been under your feet Amen. more than 2,000 years ago. Amen. When Jesus paid the price on the cross. Amen. He said, for thou love and righteousness and hated wickedness. Look at it. He said, because of that, the Lord your God has anointed your head. Somebody say, my head. My head. With the oil of gladness. Can you see gladness there? Amen. The oil of joy above your contemporaries, above your fellows. The oil of joy. When that oil come upon you, you become another man. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. You are living this place. Your skin may not change. Your eyes may not grow above this level. But something has taken a change in your life. Amen. There's a transformation in your destiny. Amen. God has written your story. Amen. There's a mark of register that I've been marking every that you are here tonight. Oh my, oh my God. That is why I know as we are entering the end of this year, Amen. moving to 2024, Amen. you are walking into that year gallantly, Amen. victoriously. Amen. You are walking to the year majestically. Amen. Because something, there's a transaction that has taken place oh my God. in the realm of the spirit. Amen. What did I call it? A transaction. Exactly. Has taken place which Jesus has paid by his own blood. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear me tonight. Amen. It has been paid by the blood. By the blood. And the devil can pay the price that Jesus paid. Amen. Are you with me tonight? Amen. So, the oil of gladness came upon us. And when that oil came, it changed our status. What does that oil do? Or what does it do for us all the time? In the book of, you know, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, when the oil come upon you, it moves you forward. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yeah. You know, let me tell you something. 
if I come to you all the time? Say, Pastor, then what's happening? We're enough people. For some pastor want their life to be pity. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, things are very high, you know. I'm going to the work of God. You know what I'm saying? You know, I say, Pastor, you know, I want to do this, you know. Hey, Kanaba, Kanaba. Hey, Katos, Kataba. Listen, everyone has their own struggle. Everyone has what they are passing through. But listen to me. We have a God that can turn your struggle to success. Amen. But when you speak, the Bible says, how forcible are the right word? Yes. What you speak must carry power. Amen. Must not carry, listen to me, must not carry um, uh, uh, disappointment to those that hear you. Amen. Amen. Are you with me right now? Amen. So when the heart come upon you tonight, listen to me. You will not speak nay anymore. Amen. You will speak yea in the name of Jesus. Amen. In that verse, verse number 13, the Bible said, And Samuel took the vial of oil and poured it upon David. When the oil came upon David, David was in the bush before. But when there was a transaction in the realm of the Spirit, that is happening to you right now. Amen. Because the enemy has made the greatest mistake for you to be here tonight. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. There was a transaction. Some of this is a transaction. Amen. In the realm of the spirit. And uh, the oil, because the oil is a capital price. Amen. For you to be the capital place of life. Amen. There was a time in America. That any president that will become king in America, be, uh, be clear, we anoint the president. He will come to the White House and anoint until his death. He always come where there was a time he couldn't walk anymore. He will anoint the president because America was built on the principle of God. Are you listening to me right now? So the Bible said, David, they brought David from the bush, meaning that they brought him from out of obscurity. Whatever has covered your glory, covered your favor, covered your breakthrough, covered your, oh my God, your next level of breakthrough, your next level of success, they are hereby unveiled in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Every day that has covered your destiny, oh my God, not to be in the right place where you're going to be blessed. Amen. Some people are ready to be blessed, but they're not in the right place. Oh, the wind of change will blow you there. Amen. The wind of change will take you there. Amen. It's not about your age. It's about what God is about to do. Amen. So David was in the bush. And they sent for David. When they brought David, knew that he knew that. And they anointed. And the Bible said in that verse 13, from that day. Somebody said from that day. From that day. From that day. Because that will become your story. Amen. That from tonight, 29th of December, 2023. Amen. You will not remember where you are. Amen. Oh my Amen. God. Amen. December 29, 2023. I speak as I have commanded. Amen. Where you are today Amen. shall be the least place Amen. you will ever be Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you receiving that word? Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, David went forward from that day. Amen. There was no more stagnation. There was no more delay to him. David went, so as I'm going for, with joy. David went forward. From that day, David began to move forward. From that day, the king loved David, favored David. When the oil of joy came upon David, David killed Goliath. Oh my God. That way, with joy, you can destroy your enemy. When joy come upon you, your enemy will be mesmerized. There's a word has come on him. Oh, your enemy will be shaking. That's all that has cold. There was a word is happening. The oil of joy has entered your life. Receive that oil of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that oil of joy in the name of Jesus. And there was a change of story in the life of David because the oil of joy came upon him. I want us to rise up on our feet, everybody. And begin to give glory to God and say, Father, I thank you. It's not me. I want you to thank him. Give him joy from the death of your heart. Give him praise from the joy death of your heart. Begin to thank him. Thank you, Jesus. 
Come on, let's pray the Holy Ghost in Kenya. Pray the Holy Ghost, pray the Holy Ghost, pray the Holy Ghost. Lord, we give you praise. We worship. Come on, bless him. Bless him. Bless him tonight. Let God hear you. Begin to ask God, Lord, I receive joy. I receive my joy. My all of joy will never drown. In the name of Jesus. My oil of joy will never die. Come on, begin to declare that. Declare that. As you enter 2024, you are going high. Receive the oil that will keep you high. The oil that will keep you high. In the name of Jesus. Don't keep quiet. Begin to declare. Declare what you want. Begin to declare what you want to the Lord in the year 2024. Oh, Baba, Baba. You are taking over 2024. Declare, I am taking over. To go high, I am taking over. To go high, I am taking over. To go high, I am taking over. Somebody declare that in the name of Jesus. Lebo koto si katala bagale here. Ukara ba shapi thank you. Repeke te katala ba 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 ba. I am taking over to go high. Somebody declare that in the name of Jesus. Lebo koto si katala ba. Mandeki di kada kada ba. Makato si kata. Oh, the ministry angels are here. Begin to open your mouth and declare what you want. Oh, it's an ask that your joy might be full. Ask that your joy might be full. That the year 2024 shall be your year of the acceptable year of the Lord. The year 2024, my God, somebody begin to declare. Come on, be quiet. Declare, declare you have like three more minutes to pray. Pray your way to your joy. Pray your way to 2024. Pray your way to 2024. Declare what you want. Mm. Don't keep quiet. Begin to declare it. 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 2024 is your year of going higher. You're going to be in the higher place. Declare that. You will no more remain on the floor. Your status has changed. The oil of joy is changing your status. Ora mukatala fagade ribeketa katosika. Mando come on. Begin to declare that in the name of Jesus. Don't keep quiet. Declare it. Declare what you believe. Declare what you believe. Declare what you believe, because it's going to be so. In the name of Jesus, you will no more struggle again. Oh, you will, this will not be hard for you anymore. You will flourish in our time. You will flourish in our season. In the name of Jesus, the favor of God will rest upon you. The power of God will rest upon you. You will break barriers. You will break limitation. You will break barriers. You will break limitation. You will break truth. You will break forward. There will be a new song. 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 There will be a new song in the name of Jesus. Two more minutes. Pray. Pray your heart to God. He said, ask that you join me with you. You are not asked. That is why you have not received it. Oh, my God. Asia, pray. Ashley, pray. Oh, Elijah, begin to pray. Pray for a new season in your academic life. In the name of Jesus. Season of joy. Yes, we are here to pray. We are here to hear the word. We are here for a change of story. Open your mouth, declare it. Ramama Shakatoka. You will end this year joyfully. Your joy will remain. The anointing of joy that is coming upon you. Oh, Makato Sika. We're not dry in your life. 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 We're not dry. There will be a turnaround in your life. There will be a turnaround in your life. Joy for turnaround. Allah In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
Come on, please. Can you see that? See that? Okay. See that? Don't worry. You just don't see that. All the characters can be not mind. Go just one more scripture. Let's see Habakkuk chapter 3, verse number 19. The Bible says something in Habakkuk 3, 19. Amen. If you want to see that, you can see that. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Habakkuk 3, 19. Look at what he said. Because when joy comes, it will take you to the higher place of life. Amen. Joy take us to the highest. Somebody said the highest place of life. Yes, ma'am. That the Lord God is my strength. The Lord God will become, somebody say, will become my strength. Become my strength. In 2024, you will not be weak. Amen. You didn't hear me right? Amen. Your health will not be weak. Amen. 2024, 2025, till the day of old. Amen. The Lord God will become my strength. Yes. When joy comes, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Right, everybody? Yes. The joy, somebody say the joy. He said the Lord God will become your strength. Yes. It will make your feet to be faster. You become an overtaker. Amen. When joy comes, it makes you to go faster and higher. Amen. You become an overcomer. Yes. You will subdue them and they subdue you. He yes. said, It will make my feet. Somebody say, My feet. My feet. Like the feet of the hands, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he will make me to walk. Upon. upon my high place. When joy comes, somebody say, my joy has come. My joy has come. From now, from now, now, I will begin to walk, begin to walk upon the higher places of life. Not the lower place, the but the higher place of life. Because when joy comes, yes. the enemy cannot stop you anymore. Yes. Amen. The enemy wants to steal your joy. No. But you have made the wrongest mistake in life. Amen. Because your joy, no man can take it from you. Amen. He said, he said, he will make it to be in the higher place of life. Yes, in Isaiah 58, verse number 14, praise God. He said, the word of God said in that scripture, are you there with me? 58, verse 14. Because, listen, there's something, because you have made God your delight. You have made God your personal person. You have made God your own. Because you delight in God. Amen. You didn't come to see my face, but you came to see God. Amen. Are you listening to me right Amen. now? Because we have delighted in the Lord. Go ahead. Then thou shalt delight thyself in the Lord. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to ride upon my high places. I will cause you. Because you delight. Can you see that? Because you took your delight in God. It will make you to ride. To walk upon the high place. Somebody said the high place. I was telling my wife this morning when we read this scripture. Because I have to preach to her before I preach to you. So I told her. In the book of Numbers 23 19 or 1923, he said, God is not a man that will lie. I was looking at her this morning. We are dining, we are stunning. And our father said, God is not a man. Whatever God said, Toya, you will surely come to pass. All I need to do is to align myself, yeah. position myself, yeah. because God is about to take me higher. Amen. He said, and he will feed you. He will not keep you in hunger. No. You will not be hungry of joy. Yeah. You will not be hungry of the wealthy place. Yeah. He will keep you. He will feed you. Yeah. Oh my God. He will feed you. Somebody said, God will feed me. Yeah. Why not? Now I will cause you to ride upon my high places of the earth. And feed me with the heritage of He will feed you. My father. Don't be worried. Don't be thinking how you're going to make it in 2024. Amen. He will feed you. Amen. There's joy waiting for you. Listen to me. There's a draft of joy waiting for you. Amen. That's how. Draft. Draft of joy. From the back of heaven. <laughs> it's waiting for you. Amen. Why, man? My God. And feed me with the heritage of Jacob thy father, um, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. It's not me that said it. Hey, oh, yeah. Amen. It's not me that said it, Mama. Amen. For the mouth of the Lord. Somebody say the mouth of the Lord. The the Lord. 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 For the mouth of the Lord have said it. Amen. And I said, and the Spirit will also gather it. Amen. The mouth of the Lord. Amen. That no devil can close. Amen. So if God said it, who is going to stop it? Oh my God, look at me and look at yourself. By this time next year, 
God will have doubled you. Amen. I'm not saying double in size. Though. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, because somebody's not saying amen. Amen. Yeah, see, you say amen now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody wants to go and get some fitness to wind up. But I'm talking about God is going to double your destiny. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Financially, yeah. materially, yeah. joyfully, yeah. glad wise, yeah. career wise. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Lift up your eyes and I give him thanks. If you have been blessed with the word tonight, God bless you. If you know heaven has imparted you tonight, give him praise. 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 Thank you, great God. Thank you, great God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, great God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I told some people, I told us to come with oil. I don't know if anybody came. You know why I said you should come with your oil? So that you will know when you are given the oil. Not the one Pastor David gave you, but the one God gave you. Amen. You know what he said in John 6 3? He said, the word I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. If you don't have, we have an oil yet, you want you to have your own as an evidence of divinity. Amen. For your manifestation, Amen. for the for the manifestation of your humanity. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are we ready for that tonight? Amen. I want you to open that oil. Open that oil. Praise God. Because listen to me, this oil will change your status. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, name of Jesus. the moment Saul was anointed in 4 Samuel chapter 10, let me see if you open it if you can. 4 Samuel chapter 10, verse number 4 to 5. When Saul was anointed, Pastor okay. Stephanie, immediately the story of his life changed. In, somebody say immediately. Indeed. Indeed. The story of the life of Saul. He was looking for something that was missing. Amen. The oil of joy is able to attract everything that is missing in your life. Amen. What was missing in the life of Saul was found. Amen. And the oil was taken. Can you read verse 4 for me? 4 to 5. 4 to 5. 10. 4 to 5. Go ahead. Okay. And they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread. Now, they will greet you when the oil come upon you. People that have not been greeting you before. Amen. People that fail to recognize. Somebody say recognize. recognize. People that fail to recognize God's grace and power in your life. They will continue to recognize. Why? Amen. And give you two loaves of bread. They will give you bread. Which you shall receive from their hands. Go ahead. After that. After that. You shall come to the hill of God. You see. Where the place, you will come to the hill of God. Go ahead. Where the Philistines garrison is. Go ahead. And it will happen mm -hmm. when you have come there to well, the city. It will happen. Somebody says it will happen for me. It will happen for me. Are you with me, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, thank you. He said it will happen. It will happen. After this oil oh, come upon you, it will begin to happen. Amen. Every mark of rejection. My God. Every mark. That will make you to struggle before you succeed. Jesus. There are some people they succeed, but they struggle before they succeed. Mm -hmm. From today, that will not become our case. Amen. He said, "You will come to the heel of the law." Go ahead, ma'am. When you have come to uh, there to the city, uh -huh. that you will meet a group of prophets. You will meet a group. You are, down. you are in the midst of a prophet tonight. Amen. You Amen. will meet a group of prophets Amen. coming down. From the high place. Oh, can you see that one again? Yes. Going higher. From the high place. With a stringed instrument. Go ahead. A tambourine. Uh -huh. A flute. Uh -huh. A harp. Uh -huh. Before them. Go ahead. And they will, they will be prophesied. They will prophesy. Amen. Then the Spirit of the Lord will come upon and you. And the Spirit of the Lord, you that came among them, Upon you, yeah. and you will prophesy. You too will prophesy. Amen. And be turned into another man. Oh, see that now. Amen. The oil is turning you to another man. Amen. The oil. Now, as you open the oil, I speak to that oil. In the name of the living Christ. 
the name of him that commanded us to be here. We speak in the name of Jesus. That the oil you are holding in your hand. Can we have a feet if you can do that? Mama, please sit down. Mama, let me sit down. Can we have a Those that have the oil in their hand. Where's our woman? Please. Praise the Lord. As you have the oil in your hand. It shall become a science of wonder for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. With this oil, you will do wonders. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He said, The word I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Amen. It is not only a chemical oil you bought in the store. Amen. It has become the weapons of God. Amen. For your manifestation. As you cross over, you are taking over to the Amen. Every day in 2024, as you use this oil, not as tradition or religion, but as the empowerment of God for your manifestation, I speak your joy is permanent. Your joy no one can take from you. In the name of Jesus. He said, is anyone sick among you? Let them come for the elders of the church. Let them pray for him. Let them anoint him with oil. And the prayer of faith will heal the sick. Listen to me. With that oil in your hand, anyone that is almost dead that fell down, My God. as you have your oil in your bag, in your purse, take it out. Jesus. Anoint the person. Yes. They will come back to life. Amen. Amen. I believe. Fire this oil. Every dead business will come back to life. Amen. Via this oil, your destiny is coming alive. Amen. There will be beautiful ashes. Amen. This oil will resuscitate every morning in your life. Amen. It will come back to joy. Amen. Whatever that failed to rise will rise now. Amen. Wherever you have been sideline, you shall become a frontliner. Amen. You shall become a trailblazer. Amen. The Bible said, "Weep him and for a you will no more weep again." Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because the oil of joy has come to your life. As you go to your own, to your destination, pour the oil at the front of your door. Jesus. Pour it in your house. I hear the word again, Pastor Stephanie. There will be wealth transfer. Amen. Oh, Ramakatala, Ramakatala, Twenty twenty four will be a strange year of wealth transfer. Strange, what I call it? Strange year of wealth transfer. So shall it be Amen. Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are joyful to be here. You are not going to be sad. We came here with joy. You are going back with joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, if you have, if have the oil in your hand, dip the oil in your hand, in your finger, and anoint your head and walk around. Just walk around. Except mama and daddy should sit down. Walk around this oil because you know what happened? There will be space for you. you know. Amen. Walk around. Amen. Anoint yourself. Amen. Anoint yourself. There will be space for you. There will be space for you. In the name of Mark, I come. La boca da ya Move around. Move around. Move around. Move around. Move around. Move around. Nothing will stagnate you. Nothing will, dis- nothing will stagnate you. In the name of Move around. Move around. Move around. Move around. Move around. There will be space for you. 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 Nothing will limit you anymore. Nothing will limit you anymore. I am unlimited. I receive power. I receive good. I'm going high. My status has changed. Every chain in my life is broken. Limitation are removed. Joy and gladness are broken. In the name of Jesus. Rama Katala Bagadika. Live from Potosia Katala. Bless every God. Declare it the way you made it. Your business will so high. You will soar like an eagle. Others will be rejected. You shall be accepted. In the name of Jesus. Your proposals are turning to profit. In the name of Jesus. You are going higher. You are going higher. You are going higher. You are going higher. 
declare that I'm going high. I am no more limited. I'm going high. For the oil of joy, my joy remains permanent. My joy remains permanent. In the name of Jesus, with the oil of joy, with the oil of joy, my joy remains permanent. Your joy remains permanent. I'm sorry like an eagle. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I will obtain joy and gladness. I will sing a new song. There's beauty for arches. The garment of joy for the spirit of heaviness. In the name of Jesus, I will testify. I will no more weep. I will continue to rejoice. There's a new dance for me. There's a new dancing step for me. I will walk like a king. I will talk like a priest. In the name of Jesus, those that see me now, by this time next year, my story has changed. Oh, astronomical change. Astronomical growth has affected my life. In this city of Atlanta, in the city of North Carolina, in America, globally, the Lord will announce me with joy. They will get an announcement of joy in the corridor of my destiny. They will call me. They will send for me. The mark of turnaround. The mark of victory. The mark of joy. The mark of divine acceleration. The mark of going high. Because I'm going high. Because I'm going high. Nothing shall bring me down. Because I'm going high. I am unstoppable. I'm unkillable. Nothing can turn me down. There's celebration in my life. There's a dance issues in my life. I walk without no hesitation. I sing without no fear. Sorrow and sad. I'll flee away. Somebody give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I am joyful. Yes. Because I know the Lord has done something great. Right. It's going to be a memorial in your life. Amen. It's going to be a memorial in our life. Amen. That this is what the Lord has done. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. Now, before you sit down, what it was when you are sitting down, don't sit down like someone that is, um, you know, sit down like a queen, like a king. Take over your new position. Praise God. Amen. Take over your new position. The way you want to be celebrated. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you. For your word that you have brought forth for us today. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you for your people that came. Thank you, thank you for those that are watching online. Amen. Blessed be your name, Father. This is just the beginning of a new thing. Amen. You know, Toya, the man said, the governor of the feast said, why have you reserved the best wine? Mm -hmm. This is the best wine. Mm -hmm. He said, why do you give us wine when all men have been drunk? Why do you reserve the best wine? Do you know something? You deserve the best. Amen. What did I say? Amen. You deserve the best. For us to drive down here is because we know you are the best. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Others may not see the best, but we see the best in you. Because listen to me, your better days are ahead of you. Your worst days are behind you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Before we round up, I want to just make a new announcement. Uh, I want you to know that we are praying to God and trusting God that um, still praying to God that we will go to start a church in Atlanta. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we clap for Jesus? So I want you to pray along with us. Amen. And it's not an evening church, but an evening church is not a church. No. It's a morning church when you see the people you have. Yeah. So we are trusting God yeah. that from now till Till the end of February, mm -hmm. we'll have heard from God. Mm -hmm. And I know when God commands, yeah. He provides. Yeah. Are you listening to me right now? Yeah. It's not, we know we need numbers, yes. but God, when Jesus Christ started the ministry, He started with two. Yes. He didn't start with twelve. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
So we pray along with us. I will that God will do mighty things. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now we want you to be supporting the little assignment we are doing. Praise the Lord. It's very important, you know, um, your prayers, your blessings, your financial support. In any way God leads you to do so, why not? Praise God. Um, it's very important. Because if we're going to go to start a church in Atlanta very soon, but because of how God leads us, we're going to get a place like this. Praise God. A place better than this. Amen. And we need money to run it. Praise God. But don't be scared. Don't be scared. Amen. God is a provider. Amen. Am I speaking to someone? He's a provider. Yes, yes. Somebody says he's a provider. Amen. So he will surely provide. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. So God will give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are about to give our offering. Is it good for us to take an offering tonight? Amen. 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 Is it good for us to take an offering? Yes, Lord. Praise God. We are about to give an offering. I already have an offering package. I will come back to the and take the offering. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all were blessed tonight with that word? Amen. Oh my goodness, I gotta go back and do some more clips. <laughs> that was powerful. The Bible says, Amen, that God loves a cheerful giver. And I can assure you, Amen, that when you sow into this ground, you're sowing into good ground. Amen. And you know, I know Pastor David is my husband, but uh, I think it was probably three weeks ago. About three weeks ago, I was just, I was uh, in the room, and I was just getting ready for work, and I was just dancing in the bathroom, mm -hmm. and the Lord said, sow a seed of $100. I said, what? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I went in the drawer, got the money out, walked in the living room, and put it in his hand, and I said, I sow the seed into your life, and I'm going to tell you that same day, there's a big proposal that I'm working on with Horn Law for the company I work at, it's a massive proposal. Mm -hmm. And we've been trying to get, I've been trying to see the owner of the law firm personally. I've been going through some way to get to him. And the Lord guided me to go to Wells Fargo, he put some money in the bank that day. Mm -hmm. So I took some money in the house and I was, the Lord's like, okay, leave work now, go put the money in the bank. So I left my office, went to the bank, and guess who's standing in the line of the bank? <laughs> Mr. Warren himself. <laughs> Wow. Yes. <laughs> and this is a gentleman that my proposal is on his desk. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Lord, look at you. <laughs> and then when it happened, I know that I did not sow that seed. Yeah. Because there's something that must be released before God can release what he wants to be free of. You know? People think, oh, it's just robbery. It's not robbery. You have to sow something to have a harvest. So I thank God, amen, for the next step of the proposal process that I even had a chance to shake hands myself with him and say, hey, I'm Stephanie. I'm the one that presented this to you. I look forward to do business with you. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm telling you, your testimony will be greater in Jesus' amen. day. So I will tell you, amen, don't be so familiar with your pastor or the prophet that you don't, you don't see, amen, the blessing that comes with it because there's a blessing when you sow into the ground, amen. So we just stand with your offer very quickly, amen. And we know, amen, that you're giving the Lord will increase you the more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you have your seat, you can hold it up and we're praying over this for you. Father, we thank you. Man, if you don't have an offer, you can give a shoe or scarf or earring or something. Just don't come empty-handed tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I went to a, while you're gathering your offering, I went to a conference about uh, 10 years ago in Savannah, and Prophetess Juanita Bynum was there. And when I came, I didn't have an offering with me. So I was like, what am I going to get? So I literally took the gold that I had on my, on my, my, my necklace off and my earrings, and I sold it on the altar into her life. And God turned around and blessed me. I'm telling you, you have to get something. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And then God buy you, whether it's this $10, $5, $1, God will honor your seed. Amen. If you have it, amen, please stand. If you'd like to give out with Cash App, that's going to be a dollar sign, uh, I'm sorry, Breaking Fork Church number seven. So dollar sign Breaking Fork, B-R-E-A-K-I-N-G F-O-R-T-H Church number seven. Um, if you want to do Zell, that's going to be uh, Breaking Forth Church, U-S-L-G. Breaking Forth Church, U-S-L-G at gmail.com. Amen. So when you have your seat, you can stand up and we pray a bit. Father, we thank you. And then we wait till you all get ready. 
Hallelujah. If you want to write a check, and if you want to write a check, you can write it to Breaking from Church. Hallelujah. Breaking from Church. If you want to write a check to us, thank you so very much. And they want to pay your tithes and offerings. Uh, the Lord will surely bless you and preach you in Jesus' mighty name. And now, when you have your seat, you stand up with me or just hold up to the Lord. We are blessed that we even have seed in our hand tonight. Thank you. Let's thank God for the seed in our hand. Thank you for the seed tonight, God. Father God, we know as we release the seed, I declare an open heaven of harvest yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare multiplication in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, you will increase the seed on every yes. side. Father, you will open the windows of heaven in yes. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Father, we declare God wealth and prosperity yes. in the households of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, your word says when you give also a prophet, you shall receive a proper reward. I declare a prophet award upon everyone life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you a prophet and you will go higher in Jesus' mighty name. We declare it done in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can you come and just drop your seat on the altar here? Amen. As you are led, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My husband, that section. Hallelujah, amen, amen. God bless you. You can just drop your seat here if you like. Those who are watching in online, thank you so much. Thank you, God bless you for releasing your seed. The Lord will surely increase you. When you stand to your feet tonight, again, we are truly blessed to have you on here. Come on, somebody, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, we cannot be at God's release. And it's okay, God still did magnificent things tonight. Uh, we thank God for your sacrifice. Amen. There's only two days left in the year. And we know the Lord will do great things in your life in Jesus' mighty name. And again, we cannot appreciate you enough for coming out tonight, Hallelujah. making the sacrifice, making the push. Yes. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming. You guys never age. Amen. Neither does Mama here. <laughs> we thank God for all of you. Nancy, it's so good to see you in person. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for everything he has done tonight. Amen. Listen to the Bible says we should not despise the day of little beginning. Amen. Even God has the beginning. Yes. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was because so God has the beginning. Amen. But God did not stop at the beginning. Amen. You will not stop at your beginning. Amen. You will flourish. Amen. In our time, you will flourish. Amen. In our season, you will flourish. Amen. As the Lord is opening up to the city of Atlanta. The Lord will open up your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has opened up your destiny. Amen. And no devil will shut it down. Amen. Father, we release your people to go back with joy Amen. that no devil can take from them. Amen. Father, they are going higher in life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So shall it be. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Somebody say to yourself, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. One more time, I am blessed, I am blessed. Forever. Forever. forever in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Peace.